Hi and welcome back to Let's Review It. Generally speaking with video games, I can take them or I can leave them, but what's unique about the new MotoGP 2020 game is that it has actually come out before the racing has started. So the first time you will ever get to see any of these bikes is on this game. Um, so like quite a few of you, I've pre-ordered the game. It arrived on the 23rd, it's installed, and I've been playing for the last couple of hours. So I have to say, I'm really, really impressed. It's a really cool game. So I thought, why not do a little video to talk you through what you know some of the best features are of the game. I'm not gonna take you through loads and loads of gameplay footage and stuff like that. There's loads of other videos like that out there, but um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some of the kind of key core features and new developments of the game. Um, it's really, really cool. So stick around and uh, here we go. So the core game functions of MotoGP 2020 are very similar to previous iterations. There's a career and a managerial mode, there's a quick race with time trial, there's a historic mode, and of course you've obviously got online. Um, initially, we're just gonna concentrate on the career mode, as I guess that's what most people are gonna be playing, to try and find out who's gonna win the 2020 MotoGP Championship when it initially kicks off. So one of the things I really like about the career mode initially is the amount of customization uh, that you've got available to you. You can choose the look of your rider, so uh, whether it's male or female and from a, a random mix of faces, what would be really cool is if you could actually build yourself. Um, you know, maybe that's one for, for future developments. There's overall rider customization, so um, you can pick what gloves your rider wears, what boots he or she wears, uh, what leather and what helmet. You can fully customize the, the bike with its own livery and you can create your own stickers um, like your own racing number and stickers for your leathers. Next up you can choose your riding style. So you can choose whether you're leaning in, whether you've got a more traditional riding style to kind of mirror your, your favorite riders. And then you can even choose whether or not you do the traditional Rossi leg dangle. So to get your season underway, you're gonna to need to pick a team. So um, there's a KTM team, an Aprilia team, and a Satellite Ducati team available. I've decided to go with the SkyQ Aprilia team. Next up, you've got to customize your rider's attire. So um, I've selected some different colorways that suit the Aprilia livery. And next up, we're gonna get our season underway with some winter testing. One really cool feature about this game is the fact that you can choose your team around you and you can actually choose your manager. Uh, each one of the managers that are available initially have got uh, a unique specialism, whether it be uh, salaries or negotiating contracts, so that will be important as you progress through your career. You can even change your engineers who help you to develop the bike and to get quicker and quicker as the season goes on. And that's a new level of realism that I've not seen in the game before and it's really, really cool. So once you've picked your manager, your engineers, um, it's time to get the season underway. And one of the things that's been introduced on MotoGP 2020 um, is a full season of testing. So we're going to start the pre-season test in Japan. Um, you get three kind of packs to choose from. Uh, each pack is focused on a different thing, whether it be power, handling, or stability, that sort of thing. And you can choose each pack and see which one that you want to progress with. It also gives you the option to test the tires and the fuel consumption based on your riding style. So I'm going to leave you with a little bit of footage to show you what that's all about. So as is true in real life, in testing, you've actually got the option to pick 
what tyres you use and how much fuel you're carrying on board. Now this will become really, really important when you eventually start to play the game. So, you know, out on track, you can start to see down here, there's a little graphic that shows you your front and rear tyre wear, and it actually shows you that on the right centre and the left hand side of the tyre. So presumably later on in, in the races, um, you know, where you're really heavy on the right or left hand side of the tyre, you're gonna need to pick a compound that will last the whole race. Um, it's the same with fuel, so when you go into the fuel selection, you can select something that says you should be able to get five laps, and I'm sure you can, but if you're particularly aggressive on the throttle, you will eat through that fuel really, really quickly, and you'll see later on when I actually do my first race in Qatar, just how quickly you can eat through six laps worth of fuel and actually not make it to the end. So winter testing complete, I think I've got a good base set up. My best lap was with the, uh, the, the second option, which was a kind of middle of the road mixture. Um, I did a, a 201 in winter testing, which was the fastest overall, so I'm quite um, happy with that. Although it might suggest that I've got the uh, AI settings on, uh, on too easily, but uh, time will tell when I do the first race. Um, so on we go to Qatar in race one. Visually this game is absolutely stunning, it's a real step up from the previous versions. I know this is run at 60 frames rather than 30 frames, so that's really good. One of the things I noticed really quickly was how good the new physics engine is. It's silky smooth, the rider movement is really, really fluid, it's not jerky or anything like that. Um, it's a real step up from the gameplay of the previous um, modes, and I'd go as far as to say that this is the best bike game I've played since Tourist Trophy on the PS2 many, many moons ago. So there's various options that you can set for uh, the race itself. There's a choice of um, mechanical and cosmetic damage uh, settings, um, which have a real adverse effect on, on the bike's aero package. So you can choose whether that's cosmetic or whether it actually causes um, you know, a, a physical sensation on the bike. And one of the things I really like about this is when you're going down the straights, you do actually get crosswind. You can feel it pushing you out wide. It's really, really cool. It's very, very realistic. Um, you really feel like you're able to find the limit um, through the control pad. It's really hard to explain without you playing it, but um, you can push the front end, you can feel when it's gonna go, and you feel like you're pushing the limit. Um, but the actual gameplay, you know, the actual bike movement is absolutely fantastic. I really, really like it. The AI players in this are really good as well. Um, there's a new uh, AI engine with this game, um, and what you will find is that riders will, at any opportunity, get underneath you. And one of the things that is a lot better about this game is when contact is actually made, um, it doesn't knock you off 100% of the time. You know, you do get bashed out wide and stuff like that, just like in real life. It's really, really cool. But if you are unfortunate enough to uh, have a little laugh, the sequence of falling off is, is really, really cool in itself. So, you know, check out some of this footage. And any moment now, the MotoGP bikes will be revving their engines. The weather forecast for the race is good, and the riders have let us know that the track conditions aren't causing them any worries. The cameras are now accompanying us on a tour of their favourite riders for today's MotoGP race. We can't make predictions, but judging from the extremely competitive qualifying sessions, we're sure we're going to see a fantastic show. Okay, so I've definitely got this set too easy. Um, my first qualifying session on an Aprilia, which should be an inferior bike, I've actually qualified on pole by quite a long way, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna win the race. So let's get the race underway and uh, see what happens. Motorcycle Grand Prix will start shortly here in Doha and the riders are ready to compete on an amazing illuminated racetrack.
So we've had a pretty good race so far, but as I talked about earlier on, fuel and tyre management is really, really important. And clearly I didn't pay enough attention when I was testing, because if you look at the fuel, we are about to bloody run out from P1 in the lead. So we are not gonna finish this race. <laughs> Okay, so that's career mode and we'll let the season play out and I'll keep posting some gameplay videos uh, as, I, as I play more and more. Um, one thing I'm really curious about is uh, the weather conditions. So one of the things I saw in the kind of pre-season testing for the game was uh, how good the graphics were in other weather conditions. So we are going to go to the circuit of the Americas with KTM's Moto2 team and uh, see what the rain is like. And as you can see, the, the graphics are absolutely phenomenal. Um, just like all of the other games, there's a range of views. Uh, I always find the, the third person view is the easiest. Uh, I don't know how anyone races using the, the interior or helmet cam view, um, but they do. straight away as you can see I've gone straight out onto the track and fallen off um, the, the you can feel how slippery the track is through the control straight away and of course these bikes sound really different with the the triumph engines now as well and they've got that bang on one of my biggest complaints with these games in the past has always been the sound and, and a lack of realism there and, and this is spot on so I mentioned earlier on realistic damage so you can have it so it's just cosmetic or you can have it so it actually has a, an adverse a mechanical effect on the bike so this is just the cosmetic damage only and as you can see in photo mode it looks really really cool when you fall off in the mud the rider gets all muddy and stuff like that and that's a really really nice touch i have to say as well about this game that the attention to detail in all of the graphics is really really good i would say it's definitely a big step up on moto gp19 and i would definitely say it's better than ride as well Okay, so one of the other features I like is your ability to either unlock in the quick modes all of your um, favorite riders from uh, past tense. So it goes all the way through the two stroke um, 500cc MotoGP era to the four stroke MotoGP era. So you've got so many different combinations of riders that you can unlock. Um, but one of the other things that you can do is the historic challenges. So I'm going to show you now uh, the, one of the so-called easiest challenges with um, Valentino Rossi when he was riding for, for Honda back in the day. So as you can see, it's not as easy as it looks. Obviously the, the bike didn't have as much uh, on it by way of uh, electronics and the tyre technology wasn't as good either and it definitely shows uh, in my ability to, to race competitively here at Mugello. Um, as you can see from the replay, you know the, the graphics are really, really stunning um, and the, the attention to detail on all of the older bikes uh, is also really, really good. So. So far I'm really impressed with this game and if you're into motorbikes and you're in lockdown I would definitely definitely say it's worth um, investing in and getting it delivered. I think I paid uh, $42.99 on pre-order from game and it turned up uh, exactly when, when it was expected, if not a little bit earlier. It was supposed to arrive by 12 and I think it arrived at 11. Um, so I'm just going to leave you with some, uh, some gameplay from uh, a race that I did in Japan uh, with Fabio Quattararo on the Yamaha. Um, once again you'll see uh, that you should definitely take the time to work out what tyres and what fuel load you should be carrying um, and you've always got to be wary of the one and only Mark Marquez so uh, you know stay tuned uh, if you like the channel subscribe I'll be doing a load more videos on biking games in the future I've already done a few already if you're really into bikes you might want to check out the the playlist that we've done uh, bike reviews this year we've got loads more coming next year and uh, yeah hopefully I'll see you soon take care